Hi, I'm Carly Cervantes. I'm the director of the Total Joint Replacement Program here at St. Mark's Hospital. Today we're going to be discussing a couple of important things that you need to know while you're here for surgery. You should bring the guidebook and any advanced directives to the hospital with you. Please bring personal items like your glasses, hearing aids, and cases. You can bring your phone and charger. Your medication list is important to bring with you, but do not bring the medications themselves. Please have loose-fitting clothing that will go over your surgical dressing. Please bring any special orthotics or shoes. Leave all jewelry and cash at home. If you did not pre-register, you must bring your insurance card and copayment with your ID. You can take the medications that your surgeon or the hospital told you to take with a small sip of water. Remember, you can drink clear liquids up to two hours prior to your arrival at the hospital, but no food. Please do not wear makeup or any jewelry. If you have not registered, you will need to go to registration. Once registered, or if you are pre-registered, you will go to the pre-op department where the staff will help prepare you for surgery. In pre-op, you will meet your anesthesiologist and surgeon. Both will discuss your surgery plan, including your medical history, what type of surgery you will be having, and the anesthesia that will be used. Your surgeon will mark your surgical site. Surgery usually takes one to two and a half hours and your family or friends can wait in the waiting room. The surgeon or a representative will speak with your family while you're recovering or waking up. Post anesthesia care unit, or PACU, is the recovery room. Most patients spend one to two hours in the recovery room or longer depending on how long it takes for you to come out of the anesthesia. Your family is not allowed there. You will see them once you're transported to your hospital room. The nurses will monitor your vital signs, manage pain, and complete physical assessments. Enhanced Recovery After Surgery, or ERAS, is what we use here at St. Mark's Hospital after surgery to help promote healing. This concept is sometimes referred to as fast track, accelerated, or rapid recovery. The ERAS plan is specific to each patient under the direction of your surgeon. The recommendations are early mobilization, or walking, blood clot prevention, avoiding opiates by using multimodal pain management, and a special carb loading drink if prescribed by your doctor. Let's talk about pain after surgery. We do our best to control your pain. You have a right to have your pain managed. Narcotics and opioids are not scheduled. You will need to ask for them. We do try to pre-medicate before therapy, but keep in mind, we can't make your pain completely go away. It's important to monitor your pain. We use a pain scale to make sure you're as comfortable as possible. A zero is having no pain, and 10 is the worst pain imaginable. We want to keep your pain level at or below a four on the one to 10 scale. We aim to control your pain and manage the discomfort so that you can eat, sleep, and move around. There are additional measures to help with pain, such as elevation, ice packs, and movement. On the day of surgery, expect to be up with therapy within four hours of your surgery. Wearing compression devices and early ambulation will help to prevent blood clots. Your doctor also may prescribe anticoagulants. Deep breathing using an incentive spirometer, good oral care, and sitting up in a chair can help with pneumonia prevention. To prevent infections while in the hospital, the staff will monitor vital signs and inspect the surgical dressing. You will receive antibiotics during your hospital stay. Good hand washing for both patients and staff is important to maintain throughout this process. Some patients become nauseated. First, avoid taking medications on an empty stomach. Eating small frequent meals may decrease nausea. The hospital staff can give you medications to help with your nausea. A common emergency room visit is post-procedure constipation. Frequent mobility, drinking plenty of water, and taking fiber and medications help prevent constipation. Now we're gonna have Tyler talk about the role of physical therapy and occupational therapy while you're in the hospital. Your physical and occupational therapy will start within a few hours of leaving recovery and arriving at your hospital room. Your physical therapist will help you safely transition home and care for your new knee or hip by making sure you can get yourself in and out of bed, get in and out of a chair, walk with an assisted device and correct any deviations that you might have developed over time. We'll help you understand your precautions if you have any and we'll teach you a set of exercises that can be found on page 33 and 34 of your guidebook. 
those exercises will be performed while you're in the hospital as well as when you transition home. Your physical therapist will also help you learn how to use stairs if you have them and teach you how to get in and out of a car. Your occupational therapist will help you learn skills to get back to taking care of yourself, such as bathing and dressing, helping you learn safe transfers, also helping you learn home safety techniques and making recommendations for any equipment that you might need. They'll help you use assisted devices to help you keep your precautions if you have them, such as long-handled equipment, shower, chair, or bench, or any toileting supplies. While mobility is important after a total joint replacement, safety is also very important. Please have a member of the nursing or therapy staff with you anytime you get out of bed. You may be feeling back to normal or like you're feeling okay to get up and walk on your own, but sometimes accidents happen and we want to make sure you're as safe as possible. Normally following a joint replacement, you can bear as much weight through your leg as you can tolerate. For knee patients, try not to stand and pivot or twist on your operated leg and don't kneel on your knee until you're cleared to do so. Most hip replacement surgeries are performed with an anterior approach, meaning they do your surgery through the front of your hip. If yours is performed anteriorly, your precautions are to avoid any extreme hip extension like deep lunges or yoga positions. Some patients are able to go home the same day of surgery and some stay overnight. This decision will be made between you and your doctor with the input of the therapy and nursing staff. Our job is to prepare you to go home safely as soon as possible. The exercises that you're given in the booklet and taught to you during your therapy sessions while in the hospital will continue when you get home. So whether it is determined that you need home health or outpatient therapy, your therapist will help you progress your range of motion, strengthening and mobility to get you back to better than normal and enjoy the life you wanted. Thank you again for choosing St. Mark's and good luck with your recovery.